covering the week's top tech stories with a slight Linux bias. Startup Mycroft AI stood up to a patent troll who filed a lawsuit against it for building an open source Linux based voice controlled assistant. Mycroft AI develops voice assistant software that runs on Linux systems, including the Raspberry Pi. The device can then respond to spoken requests, similar to Amazon Echo or Google Home, such as setting alarms and reminders, searching the web, and so on. Mycroft AI at first learned trouble was brewing when it was contacted in December by a lawyer at a Texas law firm focused on intellectual property. In an email to the startup CEO, Joshua Montgomery, the lawyer claimed Mycroft AI's technology infringed two U.S. patents belonging to their client, Voice Tech Corp. These patents described a system for a handling, quote, voice commands from a mobile device to remotely access and control a computer, end quote. Initially, the lawyer offered Mycroft AI a non-exclusive license of voice text patents. However, after Montgomery ignored the emails, voice text sued Mycroft AI for patent infringement. Earlier this month, Montgomery declared he's ready to fight the lawsuit all the way. He told the register, quote, this is a textbook case of why the U.S. patent system is fundamentally broken. Software is math running on a microchip. Sure, it's written in a particular language, and that is copyrightable, but math is not patentable, end quote. According to their abstract, the patents involve, quote, receiving audio data from mobile device at the computer. The audio data is decoded into a command. A software program that the command was provided for is determined. At least one process is executed at the computer in response to the command. Output data is generated at the computer in response to executing at least one process at the computer. The output data is transmitted to the mobile device, end quote. The Montgomery argued the patents do not reflect the complexity and architecture of modern assistants and pointed out my Mycroft AI doesn't even involve a separate mobile device. Because Mycroft AI is based in Missouri, they'd have to spend money hiring a law firm in Texas to work with its attorney. Montgomery described voice tech, in his opinion, as a, quote, patent troll, end quote, and compared such organizations to playground bullies. He said, if you don't stand up the first time, you'll get picked on forever, end quote. On February 11th, voice tech voluntarily dismissed the case. In an update posted to Mycroft blog, Montgomery says, quote, we have won the battle, not the war. He also noted the outpouring of support from the open source community, saying, over the last week, we have been humbled by the outpouring of support. Thousands of you shared the shared the post, sent in further evidence of the invalidity of the patent claims, offered your expert testimony, and even wanted to contribute financially to the legal defense. From everyone at Mycroft, thank you all. End quote. I love that the open source community comes together yes. Like that yes. and says, you know what, we're going to back you up. We're going to yeah. help you with this. I think that in all of this is the big win statement sure yeah. because it shows you that it's not just about company versus company it's the community that's behind it yeah and i mean we hear of this all the time where somebody gets kind of beaten over the head going we have this generic patent that covers yeah. just about everything you're infringing upon it yeah and it's like come on as you're as you're talking about this patent i'm thinking like have you never seen an episode of star trek <laughs> Right? Like this is this is all the stuff that we were talking about in the eighties. Like this is not right. something you can really patent. Right. This is yeah. something we've had all along. Yep. Unreal. So, I'm I mean, I, I'm really happy that they dropped it because yes. to be honest, that would have been a like it wouldn't have been a fair fight in that they would have had to hire a lawyer outside the state. They would have it's it, so stressful it, for it, yeah, anyone. But to, like what you know, a waste of resources. To know you're right but feel like you're on the defensive yeah. and you know, the whole yeah. thing would have been yucky and I really love that they felt supported yeah. in the way it was shown. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And ch check out Mycroft. I mean, it's a great project. So think mm -hmm. about your uh, Amazon Echo or Google Home Mini or whatever device you have and then 
create an open source kind of alternative that you can install on a Raspberry Pi mm -hmm. and create your own virtual assistant and so create cool. plugins for it and everything else. Definitely something we need to look at in yeah. Category 5. Microsoft yeah. AI, you are. Way to go. <laughs>